Well, folks, we're back in the log cabin again. I've got my apprentice here, baby Frank, and um, I'm gonna try and strip this 600cc engine down now so I can get the uh, block off to the uh, engine shop and get it reboard up to 700cc and also take the cylinder head along to get skimmed as well. I've drained the oil out, haven't I? No. And I'm gonna do some stripping down work for the engine, haven't I? Yeah? And is Merlin gonna help you? No. No? Granddad do it on his own? Okay then, so there we go folks, so I've just drained the engine out because I've got to turn the engine over. I've taken a lot of it apart now, so I'm just going to turn it upside down. Going to need um, cleaning out inside as well because it's got a lot of uh, corrosion there in the waterways as well, but um, the camshaft can only come out once I take the drive out I think for the um, distributor which goes in there, so that I'll see that when I spin it up the other way because it won't actually pull out now. So um, let's turn it upside down. Get the uh, sump bolts off. Hopefully I won't lose too much oil on the surface now because it's mostly been drained out, but it will obviously be some spillage. And uh, yeah, let's get it done. The uh, sump bolts undone. Now let's just try and prise this off now. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's see what we got underneath. Oh, look at the crap around that sump there. Look at that. Just shows you. Look. That's one of the reasons why you don't go around starting up old engines that have been sitting down for ages and ages. Look at that. Look. Amazing. And also that sludge build up on the strainer there. Look. I'm not sure not whether or not there's um, oil and water mixed into that. So they could have had a slight head gasket issue as well. It looks to be a bit sort of creamy there as well. So um, I'm going to have to clean all this up. There's the oil pump. Yeah, I think it's the oil pump drive off of there from the distributor. That's why the uh, camshaft can't pull out. So I need to undo these two bolts here and maybe withdraw that and that should get me in the situation where I can take the camshaft out that'll be probably half inch but I've got a 13 mil here hopefully that'll uh, get me in there it shouldn't be that tight actually, no they're not I think you can get oil pumps for these but um, not sure if I'm using the original yet on the rebuild bearing in mind this is a low mileage engine Right, okay, that's them two off. Now hopefully this should just lift off now. Where's our third one? No, might need a bit of teasing. There we go. I normally would use my copper mallet. Oh, I've got it here, look. Didn't think I had it there, look. That's just the gasket seal break in there. So hopefully this should lift out now. Here we go. Here we go. Look at the sludge on that. Look at that. Look. Look at that thick little. Look. Look how thick that is on there. Look. And that's one of the things with old engine oils, why you um, used to start them up to warm them up for draining the oil, because they was a lot thicker and sludgier back then. But uh, today's oils are a lot thinner and more refined. Right, let's put that down there. And in here is your distributor drive shaft, which I think should pull out. But first of all, we can um, remove this gasket here. And I think there's a little retainer underneath it where you have to take these off so that you can get the camshaft out, or the crankshaft rather. Let's get a blade under there, look. Just cut that off. As I say, this has all got to be cleaned up before it goes to the um, engineering shop to be bored out. Okay. 
Right, okay, so you should get a large screwdriver now and just undo these two plates there. Shouldn't be that tight. Like that. There we go. Like that, and to the other side. Oh, the hands are getting slippery now. I have to um, grip that with a cloth that screwdriver. Let's tight that one. Let's try this one. Just give it a slight tap with a mallet just to shock the threads a little bit. Hopefully. Oh, they're tight. I normally like to tap and turn at the same time. There we go. Just little techniques, you know. Tap and turn. Otherwise you'll end up stripping the uh, heads off the screws. Let's try it with this one. Tap and turn at the same time. So I'm putting anti-clockwise pressure on that while I... Let's have a go at that. There we go. Tap and turn. Let's undone that one. Right now, put a screwdriver in this little bridge there, you see, just lift up from underneath, look. Just lift it up from underneath. And that's the little uh, bridge you got there, so you can get to your bolts now to get your crankshaft out. Put them on there like that. Yep. Just for this little casing. And I also like to keep everything in order and in their groups and then bag them up individually. What, mate? Be careful over there. What? I'm working. Again, sealed by a gasket, so just got to break the gasket seal. Sometimes you can do it with a little tap. I like to get a blade just to go in there. There we go, that's gone. There we go. Out she comes. There we go. A little uh, spring clip there, look. So, keep the bolts all in order. And I'm just gonna remove the other end. There we go. Bit of a tight fit in there. And I'm taking this out to show you that they are different. The one with the small chop out there goes at the front and the one with the larger aperture goes at the rear. And just to show you that the bearing cases are marked F for front, C for center and R for rear as well so you can't really get them in the wrong places as well so that's the distributor drive so the front is the one near the distributor drive right i'm going to undo these um six bearing cases take them off and hopefully we'll be able to lift the crank out uh, with the pistons as well and then uh, start cleaning down and hopefully pull the camshaft out as well see you in a minute Just lifting out the crankshaft with the pistons. There we go, one complete unit there, folks. Come out nice and easy, actually. Gonna lay that over there. Right, so to get the um, distributor shaft out, I think we'll find there's a pin on here, which we have to punch out. So I've just located it there. 
and we've got to punch it out, so bear with me on this. Yeah, it's just starting to move. You can see it just sticking out now, folks. Can you see that? So I've got to drift that all the way out. Let's try one of these. That's got it. Oh, I've just dropped it. <laughs> I would drop it, wouldn't I? Now, I know it's in there somewhere. So now I'm just going to maybe just punch that centre shaft out now. Should go down. There we go. That pushes the shaft out. There we go. So that comes off. I'm going to need to locate that in a minute, but it's all oily in there at the moment. Probably when I get the cam shaft out, I'll be able to see it. Just continue tapping down that term distributor drive. Till it falls out the bottom end. As you can see there. I will just stick that back on there, like that. And now, hopefully, the camshaft should be able to pull out now. And I should be able to find that um, pin. I just pulled it out. And there's the camshaft. Happy days. Let's have a look for that pin, and I've just found it. There we go. So that, I'm going to stick back in just so that I know where it is, so I don't lose it. There we go. Right, that's it. So that's basically the base of the engine stripped down. There's a ball in there. I think that it's got to come out as well. I'll take that out. And I can see a ball bearing in there as well. So I've got to be careful of that. Here we go. Right, so I need the ball bearing out of there as well. Again, I don't want to lose this. Tip it over. There we go, folks, just so that you can see what's in there. There's a big ball bearing there. That needs to go in its own little envelope. So let's just have a little look around it. As you can see, clogged up. I think there must have been possibly a head gasket issue as well, because I think there's water in there as well. So I'm glad I didn't run it for long, and it was very, very smoky, this engine. So I'm hoping that there's enough here, meat on these bore linings, to take it out to 700cc. It's only 25cc per pot, so it should be okay. I think it has been done before, because I think the 600 and the 700s have the same blocks in them. So um, I'll let the engineering shop look into that for me. That's the basic that taken down now. So that's all got to be cleaned up. And uh, let's take that sump, look thick sludge in there look you don't get that with modern engines you see because the engines are a lot more refined nowadays and the oils are a lot more refined definitely wouldn't have been wanting to have run that for any length of time coming over here the big end bearings actually look fine these are coming off obviously and they're going to have the 700 cc pistons put on and that's it i'll take my time just to strip this head down it's only taking valves out you haven't got to see that so there you go work on the trotter van is now underway again and um, i hope you enjoyed that video keep an eye out so i'm going to get this all cleaned up shipped down to the uh, engine shop now hopefully they can get the 700 cc pistons to go in there and then uh, we'll be putting it all back together and moving forward with the trial build anyway thanks very much folks hope you've enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next video and until then bye for now